NASA is dealing with a major headache after a botched satellite launch this morning, which puts a multi-million dollar mission in jeopardy. One, zero, and liftoff of the Taurus rocket with OCO, tracking a greenhouse gas in seek of clues to global warming. By the looks of it, the liftoff in California began just fine. Several minutes later, though, the payload failed to separate from the rocket and failed to reach orbit. The satellite was supposed to help track, and track carbon emissions so we can further understand climate change. Now, though, the whole $273 million project is in danger. Well, time now for a look at the international weather forecast. And for that, we're joined by Mary Ramos. Mary? Uh, yeah, interesting, that satellite story um, uh, there. You know, Jonathan, remember when we were talking about those other two satellites just a couple of weeks ago, remember, that crashed into each other over Siberia? Remember, that was a, a big story because one of them was a communication satellite, um, an American communication satellite. The other one was a Russian satellite. Well, they each, after they crashed, created a plume of debris with hundreds of pieces that are still orbiting the Earth. I want to show you this because it's really, really interesting. The red one right over here indicates the Russian satellite. This is the American satellite. And this is actually tracking that plume of debris. Now, um, what we understand from this is that it's actually following a similar track of the original orbit of each satellite before it crashed. Isn't that interesting? You know, object that's in motion stays in motion. Well, there are still possibilities for those pieces to continue crashing into each other whenever they intersect, as you can see here. Some pieces are rather large and they're actually monitoring, uh, being monitored closely by the U.S. military. Now, one was the Cosmos satellite, the other one was Iridium-3 satellite, the American communications satellite, and all of those pieces are still uh, across uh, this entire region, still circling the Earth, as you can see here. There's one more uh, intersection point that I want to show you, and that's actually way um, farther to the south over here, uh, off the coast of Antarctica. Again, right over here, another possible collision area. And they're watching it also for the possibility that it could interact with other satellites and how many are there? Over 5,000 satellites, as you can see from this amazing image, are circling our globe right now. But the interesting thing is that only about half of them are actually functioning, working satellites. The rest are defunct and don't work anymore. Hmm. Let's go ahead and move on and talk about the weather.